Hey, nerdlings! What's up, nerdlings? Guess what time it is? We got the robes. We got the box. And I have a little friend to help me with our box. Okay. I have a little Niffler to help. Aww, I got one of those, Isn't too. Isn't adorable? <laughs> ah! <laughs> This month's theme for Wizarding World is Legends and Lore. Ooh. Mm. I think I could like that theme. <laughs> or, or wait, are we, are we getting the fire? What was it, the Chinese fireball? Yeah. Ooh. He doesn't even make an ooh sound. He, like His mouth is half open. He goes, ooh. Like, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, he's aware. So, Let's Legends and Lore. <laughs> I tell you what, the Legends and Lore of the world of Harry Potter is something that I'm really interested in. I would really like to see more and more of that. You know, kind of like how we in Fantastic Beasts got to see, yes. or hear at least more of the uh, kind of the American side of magic and yeah. everything. I like that stuff. Yeah. Although, Ilvermorny is not a better school than <laughs> Hogwarts. Sorry. <laughs> Hogwash? <laughs> Anyway, it was a heavy box, so okay. So that that's an interesting thing. So first and foremost, we have our pin, and since we got all the Horcruxes, I'm not sure what could be left. Well, I think last time we thought maybe keep going with the Patronus charms. So. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, oh, my fave, a phoenix. Nice. Now this that... is a box just for you. Yes, that is, that is awesome. awesome. I looks love great this. He does too. look great really like that so he's got like a lot of red and the tail kind of like a fire flame. Yeah. yeah he's Very nice. really really cool i like that now i did notice that on the inside of the cart it says phoenix mm -hmm. and it doesn't say fox no so i guess this just a just generic phoenix. a generic phoenix it's like department for the regulation and control of magical creatures oh so this must have something to do with newt's commander Oh, we have a tiny mirror. Okay. And like a little compact mirror for your magical purse. You could go that route. This is something that you'd want to look into to see something. Is this the mirror of Ezred? Eraset. Eraset? Yes. It's a teeny tiny one. How cute is that? Isn't that adorable? So, what do you see in the mirror? I see us right now having a lot of fun filming things. <laughs> what do you see? I see socks. <laughs> Thanks, Dumbledore. I can't tell if this is a magnet or not on the back. We'll have to see if it's a magnet or if it's just a stand-up thing. Okay. But that's really cool. I like that. That is pretty neat. I like the little miniature version. Yeah, like the little kind of tiny or... props. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what else we got in here? We've got something in an envelope. A, like, wax paper envelope. Cookies? Cookies? I don't think it's cookies. It's pictures! So we have Gryffindor. What's his name? What's Godric Gryffindor? Yes, Godric Gryffindor. Then we have Helga Hufflepuff. The little badger. Then we have Rowena Ravenclaw. And Salazar Slytherin. Nice. That's pretty Ooh. cool. Yeah, these are really cool. These are these are really great if you want to frame them and then kind of have them all up around. So or I... just pick your your own house. Like here, you have your house. I'll have my house. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say I like the fact that you got all four. I do. Even though the Wizarding World crate usually caters to your house. Yes. You did yeah. get the full set, which is kind of nice. like in the last crate when it was all Hufflepuff stuff. I absolutely loved it, but I really liked the banners. And yes. so it was kind of one of those things that's like, I kind of want all the house banners and, you know, have them all hung up, even though I got my banner and that was awesome. But yeah, I do like that. And I like how stylized they are. They're very neat. So very neat. Yes, I like those. Those are really cool. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, here's the big heavy thing we got in here. An umbrella. Oh, nice. So it says Harry Potter and 
it looks like from the picture it's got all of the houses on it and it is an auto opening umbrella so let's see ready Wow. It was like magic. <laughs> that is cool. So you've got all the houses on there. That's pretty, pretty cool. Let's see if it's, oh, uh, it's not an auto close. I was hoping, I like the auto close ones, especially when it's raining and you're trying to run and get in your car. But hey, auto open is still pretty good. Well, that's pretty handy. That is awesome. It's always nice to get stuff that is practical, practical and that you will actually use. I mean, you love to have wall candy, of oh, course, yeah. but having stuff that you can actually take out and about is always yes. very nice. So this is awesome. I am definitely going to use this. It's got a nice little handle on it and everything. And then, of course, you know, like I showed you before, it has the, the carrying case for it if right. you wanted to use it. But, oh, there it is. <laughs> I didn't know what I did with it. Although I have a hard time getting them back in there once I take them out and <laughs> open them. <laughs> So there's one more thing in here and it's a shirt. Oh, very nice. So let's see what's on the shirt. Looks like the Deathly Hollows, but in a oh. more stylized version of the Deathly Hollows. So there's that. So you've got you've got a nice skull at the top of it, which is kind of making the um the death mark, the what was it? The dark mark. The dark mark, yeah. Making the very dark much mark. Looks like that. And then you've got the stone in the middle with the elder wand, and it's making the whole Deathly Hallows. And then right in the middle of the stone, there's the Deathly Hallows again. That's kind of weird. That is kind of weird. That is really neat. It says it's a loot crate exclusive. It's pretty cool. Well, how about? You try that on while we give everybody else a chance to see what they see okay. in the mirror. What'd you guys see? Anyone else see socks? Better not have seen me change clothes. <laughs> All right, so I know your stance on black shirts. Yes. You don't always like the black shirt. Sometimes you like the more colorful ones I do. to really have it pop more. Plus it does seem like the fallback for shirts is always black. black. <laughs> yes, but it does make the the, sh the symbol pop a little bit more. I will say this is a lot tighter than a lot of other shirts that they send out. It's still the normal size that I always get, which is just a regular unisex extra large, but it is it is a lot tighter feeling. Okay. Um, the print is very in there, so it's like, it's not a raised print, so I feel like it's a good print on it. Good. And everything. Um, it's a Fairly normal, standard, cottony feeling shirt. Not as thick as some of the shirts I have gotten okay. from them. Um, so that may be why it may be a little more on the tighter side. I notice the thicker ones are kind of, I don't know. It fits fine though. I mean, it's like. I wonder if maybe Luke Crate is using a different shirt company. It's perhaps. possible. It's very possible. Maybe they changed that up. Yep. Well, it does look nice. I definitely like the image because it's one of those it's you kind of got to be a fan to really recognize it mm -hmm. otherwise uh, it just looks like i'm wearing a, a yeah skull. <laughs> well honestly it, you know from a distance it almost looks like a uh, like an album art or band yeah i art. can see that especially with the skull making the like the death the dark mark on the top earlier right i can definitely see that i'm dark mark and we're the deathly hollows <laughs> we got our merch set up over on the table yeah. please visit we also accept tips and crisps. We're very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we're starving artists. <laughs> but, well, this was a pretty good box. Uh, did it do anything with the box itself? It did. You get the Chamber of Secrets. Oh, has it been opened again? Uh, again. Yep. Someone, someone needs to learn how to close doors behind it. I know. You know, we may be at a magical school, but it doesn't mean that we all were born in barns. <laughs> yep. Well, it's always fun when they do something extra yeah. for the box like that. If I had Harry Potter action figures, you could totally like set them up right oh, here. Oh, that'd be nice. And like get a little, <laughs> get a little redhead one to be uh, lying, you know, lifeless on the floor. Yeah, that, that's that's and horrible. Some, some preppy boy, that's, you know, that's horrible. <laughs> taunting Harry. <laughs> now the real question is, 
how do they do on the theme legends and lore? Well, I gotta kind of say, I feel like they missed the mark a little. Do you think so? I do. I mean, I, because basically what we got, you know, these are really cool and I like everything that I got, but it's like, these are just the heads of houses. These are the people who created the heads of houses. You don't think they're legends? I guess, yeah, I guess you could go with that. But I mean, it's like, I was expecting, I don't know, something a little different maybe than just pictures of, of the founders of Hogwarts and you know, the mirror. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, there's a legend about the mirror, people trying to find it and everything. Phoenix, there, you know, there's always legends about phoenixes. Phoenixes are always in legends and lores. But I mean, like I said, I love the umbrella. I'm going to get a lot of use out of the umbrella. It's just, again, you went with this kind of the same thing. It's just the crests of each house. Right. So it's like, go with one or the other. I will say... I would have rather had this than this. I will say that. As far as legends and lore, I think they did fine. I feel like they played it very safe. They played it very safe with the legends part, the lore mm -hmm. of the mirror of the phoenix, mm -hmm. you know, and then the umbrella. Not so much fitting in with the rest, but the legend and the lore behind the Deathly Hallows. Mm -hmm. But it does feel like it was very safe. As I said at the start of the video, I always like the idea of finding out more about the wizarding exactly. world. Exactly. In my extended. opinion, not a lot of people I know like getting books in their boxes, but I think this would have been a perfect crate to have a book. It would have. have some kind of like Hogwarts, a history book or something that would have been nice. or a book on the magical creatures or something i feel like this one they could have gotten away with putting a book in it and it would have been fine it would have gone well i just like i said i don't like the fact that i got two different things that had to do with the heads of households basically the other thing that i noticed is even though you are a very proud hufflepuff there was nothing in hufflepuff themed no not everything's very broad yeah. in this one mm -hmm. which i'm fine with and you know it's one of those things that, like I said, I think they they didn't do as well as I have in other crates. Okay. But there are some crates that they like, I feel like they go over the top with. So I don't know if like they're taking a little vacation for the next one. I tell you what, this would something. have been a great first time crate it would if you have had been. just joined yes. up. Yeah, because you would have just, you would have gotten, you know, just a bunch of, of just good generic. Cool things. Yeah. Like I said, I absolutely love the umbrella. I will get a lot of use out of that, especially... Being a redhead, I do like to carry umbrellas around with me when I'm walking around just outside and keeping the sun <laughs> off of me and everything, you know, and I love phoenixes. So, phoenixes? Phoenix? Phoenix eye? <laughs> What's the floor? Just phoenix? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's one of those things I kind of wish that they hadn't just done some pictures. Well, nerdlings, definitely leave us your comments down below. Let us know what you thought of this box, uh, especially how well do you feel they met up with the Legends and Lore mm -hmm. theme, and any of your thoughts on any of the stuff separately, and let us know what you saw in the mirror. Yeah. Definitely feel free to give the video a like if you happen to like it. Subscribe if you have not already. There is that notification bell. We're always putting new videos up. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for those closer upper pictures. Letting you know that a video has dropped if YouTube doesn't let you know that. And what we're doing out and about in the real world. Do you nerd in the wild? <laughs> Do you nerd in the wild? <laughs> we nerd in the wild all the time. All right. Well, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I've just got this overwhelming urge to just stare into this mirror for hours. Well, I'm gonna. I'm trying to figure out if this will work like Mary Poppins. It didn't work. Bye, nerdlings. It's raining inside. <laughs> Okay, ready? Don't cut that screenshot out. No, he's not listening. Future Tom. He's not listening. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs> yes. Chinese fireball. Ooh.